can't is not part of your vocabulary. If you just put your mind to it, you can do it. And you believe that? Yeah. That, that's the crazy thing is if, if you're never given limits, then you think, I can do anything. And if she could do anything, she wanted it to be this. What she saw her hero, Dominique Mociano, doing on TV. There was just one problem. Jennifer was born without legs, a devastating birth defect that had led her natural parents to abandon her the day she was born. It bothered me to think that there was a little girl that was left at the hospital and she had no legs, so I thought she needed a family that would love her and take care of her. Sharon and her husband Gerald brought her home to the tiny town of Hardenville, Illinois. Population 50, they say, if you count the dogs and cats. They decided to raise her like they raised their three healthy sons, with no limitations and just one simple rule. Never say the word... Can't. You said, I want to be a tumbler. <laughs> you didn't have legs. Right. You kind of need those, most people think, to, to tumble. <laughs> well, think again. The girl who wasn't allowed to say can't was on her way to becoming a genuine gymnastics champion. She started at seven on the trampoline with her dad. And after a few falls, she got the hang of it. In time, she was competing. And soon after that, she was dominating. And by high school, Jennifer Bricker, are you ready for this? Was the tumbling champion of the state of Illinois. Soon, Jennifer was pursuing other sports too. Even one you'd figure she had absolutely no chance to play well. Until it turned out, she could steal the ball even grab a few rebounds. And she could make baskets, too. She didn't consider herself handicapped. She was talking to some friends one time, and uh, one of them said something about her being handicapped. She said, well, I'm not handicapped. And they said, well, you have to use a wheelchair. She said, just to keep them getting dirty. <laughs> one day at age 16, out of curiosity, Jennifer asked her mother a question. Hey, is there anything that you, like, know about my adoption or biological family that you didn't tell me? I said, okay, but you gotta sit down. And she said, mom, I'm always sitting. And she said, maybe you should sit down. I said, okay, let me sit down. And she said, well, what's the big deal? Just tell me what my last name is. And I said, well, that's the big deal. And she said, what do you mean? And I said, your last name would have been Mochianu. I knew what that meant. I knew that Dominic Mochianu was my biological sister. When she finally tracked Dominique down, Jennifer wrote her a letter. Inside the envelope were adoption papers, a photograph, and a stunning piece of news. My biological last name is Mochianu. That, that line, I, I was just like, I can't believe this is happening. Everything was there. The evidence was there. Jennifer looked like the spitting image of my youngest sister, Christina. What a moment to, for anyone to even speak to their childhood idol, but for their childhood idol to be their sister. That's something. She told me she was an athlete in the letter. In fact, I was her inspiration to start tumbling and doing gymnastics. And then on the phone call, she goes, oh, by the way, I have no legs. I mean, she's like, wait a minute, didn't you just tell me that you're an acrobat and you did all these <laughs> sports and I could just hear the wheels turning, and, you know? Yeah. And I said, who is this girl? Oh my gosh. How did she have this attitude to persevere in life and overcome every obstacle, and she's my sister. Jennifer has moved out to Hollywood. Where else if you want to be a star? She drives a specially equipped car and lives a normal, independent life. And she's earning a living. How else? As a gymnast. She's an acrobat who has toured with Britney Spears. And now she's training for a classical performance at New York's Lincoln Center. We got to go to Ohio and got to watch her perform. The audience just went crazy. They stood up and they st were whistling and screaming and clapping and, and all this. And I was blubbering. <laughs> I was sobbing because it was so beautiful. And it's like, oh my goodness, that's my baby. The baby who was taught early on never to say the word can't. 